The first case of coronavirus infection in detention facilities was reported in Yakarambi in Kirehe district and on the 29th the Ministry of Health confirmed that 101 new patients were found that day including 72 in detention in the district of Ngoma. On the 7th, 8th, 10th, 11th and 12th July this year in Kigali City, new patients were found at a temporary transit center, while on the 10th and the 17th, new patients were recorded at a detention center in Yabiju district. The Minister for Health, Dr. Damien Gamije, said the situation is being closely monitored. Various strategies have been put in place at all detention facilities and these are the transit sites where we ensure that they are now first tasted before they can join others in the detention facilities. Even those in the detention facilities have already been tested. Those who are found to be positive are then moved where they are meant to go. We are doing everything in place to ensure that even the police that has caught them are safe, even those who apprehend them. Minister Ngamije also explained that the nature of the pandemic and how the health system is working to fight it. This virus can remain in a host for up to 14 days. So we must ensure that we test them before and after because they might be able to spread it. However, the numbers are reducing. Even with all authorities fighting the pandemic, especially in the detention centers, police spokesperson CP John Bosco Cabera says that the long-term solution is for people to avoid breaking the law. The only medicine or solution is that you avoid breaking the law and being taken into detention. If you feel that you're about to break them, then take the necessary measures to protect yourselves before you're taken to detention. People are the ones who are taking the virus into those detention facilities. It does not knock on the door. Health authorities say that they are continuing to investigate the status of the pandemic in detention facilities as well as in other categories and groups of people.